What's up, Gemini? It's Obsidian Lotus L. I'm here to do your daily for the 23rd of January 2021. Before we get into it, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, show your love and support. Also, my personals right now are still at least $20 for 20 minutes, and the same days are 40, so take advantage of that while you can, okay? Um, getting into your energy, let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising with any messages you'd like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Amen. Okay, so the energy in your premeditated shuffle that I'm picking up for you is the energy of um, kind of maybe there hasn't been like a solid foundation with a situation at home for you or um, just the energy of maybe finance there's something rocky okay it could be affecting your home or a situation that is going on at home um somebody you're involved with or family friend roommate whatever okay so um but there's also something that's come out for you it's kind of like the energy i'm picking up uh like uh kind of it's like seeing how somebody really is like seeing what their true colors are and kind of like you know seeing them for what they are, who they are. And you're like, okay, I'm good. Like, I'm glad I didn't speak on how I felt about a situation or you're moving away or that was your decision. I feel like you had some sort of clarity to, um, for somebody, if you were thinking about leaving a situation, you had clarity not to, or it's the energy of there's clarity about what it is that you have any have had some sort of question about, okay. Maybe you've made up your mind as far as that is concerned. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the reading now and see what's up with you guys. I'm going to use my Romance Oracle cards really quick first and get the, set the mood, see what's going on with your love life here really quick before we get started. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, please help me provide Gemini with any messages you would like for them to receive. Any messages? Oops. <laughs> you would like for them to receive sorry these are slick Ooh, don't we hate it when we see this okay somebody's still hanging on to some feelings about their ex here that's separated from their ex you need to take some time out some vacation time something here because you're still wrapped up in your ex whoever this energy is for or um, you need to release your ex and so you can energetically allow somebody else to come into your energy here, okay? There's an energy possibly of you blocking that connection because you haven't fully released your ex and some sort of an emotional connection still there for you maybe too for somebody. If you have children, maybe you're dealing with this ex a lot, okay, on a daily basis. This is retreat though. Take some time out. Um, could be with you and a new partner um, and maybe spend focus on you and your partner, right? Quality time between each other instead of uh, maybe if you've kind of been, maybe I just feel like for somebody, if you've been in a relationship and you've been having issues, focus on spending time together. Um, and for somebody else, there's time apart that's gonna be good for you and your partner as well. So a lot of different energies coming in here for you guys, right? Of course, right, with my Geminis, all these personalities everywhere, all right? <laughs> Let's get into the reading and see what's up with you guys, though. Again, keep in mind, guys, this is just for the collective of Gemini. If you'd like a more personal reading, oops, that information is in the description box below. Hold on. Three of one, shout out. So, yeah, there's somebody I feel like... You might be in, there's a connection, somebody, either you or your partner is in a connection right now currently and you're very sexually attracted to somebody else here. <laughs> Maybe that's why there's like separation for that person. Yeah, the devil here, there's some sort of lust going on. Could be towards the Capricorn or it's just the energy of being very sexually attracted to somebody's energy or somebody physically. Um, there could be some sort of relationship going on or desire to have a secret relationship with this person's energy to you. I feel like whatever it is, there's something that's not like, there's something a little dark about it, right? With the devil coming out. This person um, finds you very attractive. The queen of wands is a very sexy, very confident energy. Um, or you, this person, Gemini, okay? And it's not really an emotional connection either, okay? And then the world, this is a, somebody I feel like it could be also at a distance from you. Um, you might actually meet this person traveling or you met this person's energy traveling. Ugh, traveling. <laughs> 
this it could be a leo because this is leo energy that came out to the sun but um i feel like it's just like a fun for somebody this is a fun relationship that's kind of sparked traveling for you somewhere and it's turned into something that maybe it shouldn't have for somebody all right um eight of cups energy but you can't leave or you're not leaving or somebody's not leaving a situation to you yeah but third party energy going on so yeah for somebody there is definitely a third party situation going on here it could be with an air sign water sign fire sign um and somebody who's very focused on uh becoming it's like if you're in a marriage here maybe you're really focused on making enough money to change or a living situation to separate or if you're having to pay for a divorce here because there is separation going on here there's the focus on really um a painful ending happening and really being focused on money or for somebody it's kind of dr trying to avoid this all together here with the judgment as well There's also energy, air and water energy showing up here that is, has thought about it and is leaving, going back. They're leaving. And going back to a situation with kids too. So that could be you or somebody else after really thinking about it. Okay, yeah, Nine of Cups. And then this is the energy of being happy alone, though, looking good, though. I feel like it's kind of um, somebody's putting an ending to a situation that stretches them out, and you'd rather be alone after this soul searching. Or there's somebody that's leaving a situation here and going back to kids, a situation with children. Yeah, because they're and they're still going to try to give to more than one person, whoever that is, the Empress, because there's a baby mama here. Could be a Taurus energy, but clarity. This is divine clarity. If you haven't had it, you will here, okay? What other messages? What energy do we have coming in towards the High Priestess? Six of Cups. The Empress. For somebody here, because that's almost identical here to a couple of cards that came out. The Six of Cups and the Empress. There's somebody from your past. Trust your intuition here. If you go back to, they're already pregnant. Okay? I don't know how that makes sense, but that's for somebody here. Like the High Priestess, if you're a masculine energy, this is showing up. I feel like it's like showing... Trust your intuition. I'm hearing Pisces too, and then Prince of Wands energy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so it's like trust your intuition about something. Yeah, this person is very manipulative. Somebody's trying to get back in. Yeah, could be an ex that you're married to. For somebody, there's also somebody that's like trying to get somebody to marry them. There's some kind of energy that's like already pregnant and it's going to try, try to pretend like it's their baby or something fucked up. Um, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, seven pentacles. And this is going to ca cause delays in your life and it's not even going to be yours. So be careful. For whoever that masculine is, you'll know who we're talking about because this feminine's energy was very manipulative. Yeah. And plays on your feelings and shit here with the Queen of Cups energy. Ace of Cups. And that is new baby. But it was in reverse too and it shot it on the floor. So that shit ain't your baby. <laughs> Y'all, I'm kidding. But like, for somebody that message is loud, right? That something... Don't let somebody try to like get you wrapped up in a situation. And if it's not a baby, it has something to do like with, it could be starting a business, like a baby in a sense, like a project, something here that's like they're trying to get you wrapped up into something that it didn't, it didn't for you, right? That's what I feel like, Gemini, yeah. 
And then Princess of Cups energy. Seven of Cups. They're holding back the truth about feelings here and like things aren't what they seem. Like there's more to whatever that situation is for somebody. Okay, let's see. What, other, what advice do we have? Seven of Wands. Protect your energy here. Seven of Wands. See how he looks like he's fighting a battle. Protect whatever you're trying to expand, whatever you're trying to do here in your life right now, Gemini. Look, the star card. You could have a star card, Aquarius. There's, it could be an Aquarius in your energy that's important for you to protect here as well. Yeah, for somebody, it's like the ending of a marriage here, and there's somebody that's not happy about it, and it's the energy of having to be careful or protect, like, the children involved. Don't let whatever, like, that drama is really, like, yeah, get you out of character here. Stay grounded. But for your children, it's going to be important because there's something going on possibly to a court. You don't want to be going to court looking or feeling crazy and somebody having evidence of you acting like fucking nuts right so yeah it's like spirit saying put an end to that shit whatever like there's some baby mama baby daddy drama going on here for whoever that's for stop that okay what other messages do we have king of wands energy you're looking really good right now and there's an energy of somebody that's looking at you like um Seeing like money signs or something, Gemini, or just, I don't know, something they can work with here in more ways than one <laughs> with the King of Wands, the magic stick showing up, right? So, um, let's see. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Secrets coming out. What else we got, Spirit? Something about children, too, showing up here again. Whoa the hell is all that i don't know i don't i don't think we're gonna want to take it all but let's see <clears throat> a new beginning communication something about children it's kind of the same thing um and somebody's trying to play on your heartstrings here with a shady card and that's like one of them's in reverse here so i feel like it's you know shady trying to play on your heartstrings this is getting in your heart space right in this deck to me so i feel like Put that shit to a rest. Like, we've talked about it twice now in this reading. That's for somebody here. Okay? Let's see. Before we end the reading, let's use my messages from Angel's Oracle we'll deck really quick to see what other messages we have for you guys tonight. Spirit Angels and the message do we have for Gemini? I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need. And God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. So yeah, whatever changes you feel like you, I feel like God is saying, or in the universe here with this being the last card, like whatever changes you're trying to make here, you're being supported by the universe, God, your angels, guides, whatever, right? So you're being protected. You're being supported. Just make smart decisions and be mindful if there are little ones involved to be, you know, um, very um, empathetic to their feelings and situations as well, right? So I hope this is helpful for you, Gemini. Um, lots of love and light. Until next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, show your love and support, and personal that information still uh, is in the description box below how to reach me um, and pay me, and they are still at least 20 minutes for $20, and same days are 40. Until next time, guys, bye.